What's up everybody, we're back again and today I'm just going to run you guys through a quick uh, showcase of what I've got going for my new PC. This is currently my old setup, the only reason why I have the fan on the outside and the uh, side of the case off so that way I can have it almost completely silent. Um, but I, for my new setup I will be keeping my same keyboard, my same mouse, same speakers. I probably will be upgrading to 120 or, or uh, 1080p monitor or just a simple 1080p. Um, so that's what I'll be using for that. Over here, I have my Cooler Master Half X. I'm sorry about the lighting. I have the BitPhoenix Hydro Pro fan controller in there. It looks pretty nice as of now. Uh, a couple things that I do need to do is, or in this case, so let's pop off the side and I'll show you guys what I'm planning on doing. And then I'll show you guys some of the parts that I have. Acquired so far. So setting the old side panel down, I will actually be getting a full window side panel with no fan on it. Actually, I might have frozen CPU take a cut out of it so that way I can fit a 140 millimeter fan on it. So what I need to do is to fit my Phobia 400 millimeter radiator, which is actually up here on top of a box of a bunch of parts from frozen CPU, which is tubing, coolants, uh, pump, and stuff like that. I actually do have two reservoirs coming from. Uh, frozen Q PC mods. I have an internal and a bay reservoir, which will look really nice with the nice full window on my half X. So I've got the Phobia 400. This is a ginormous radiator. Also, I'll be having two 120 millimeters along with that. I have my 7970, which is actually currently in my system right now. And then I have my Crosshair 5 Formula Z. This is the newest version of it. This is actually compatible with all FX 8350s my base, which is actually what I have going. Hi, Kitty. So in here, I'm not exactly sure why it's in here, I do have my FX 8350. This is the 4 gigahertz 8 core CPU from AMD. Uh, from what I understand, this thing overclocks really well if you have a nice motherboard like the Crosshair 5 Formula Z. Here's my cat again. There's the Christmas tree. Going back in here. But yep, that's pretty much what I will be having uh, for my setup. I will have the full window. I still have a couple more parts I need to get. I need to get the reservoirs in. I need to get some more fittings. I'll oh, actually have just a plain list of parts here, which I'll read off to you that I still need. Um, I need a 90 or a 0.99% silver plug or a 0.99% pure silver plug. For uh, like a bio side, I need my Swift Tech Komodo for my 7970. I need a thermometer, which I'll be using. I need a Bits Power, a couple of these. The G1 quarter, uh, the matte black dual rotary 45 degree. And I need uh, or a half by three quarters inch compression fittings. And I also need to get my mod right stuff, my fan silencers. Actually, I won't be able to use one of these, any of these in my system. But uh, the... Bit Phoenix fans themselves are actually quite quiet as is. I'm actually doing a build for somebody now. It's going to be a photo editing build. It's going to have a really nice case and a nice SSD boot drive, the new Corsair H100i. But yeah, these are... I'm just poking through stuff on there. But um, yeah, as also as soon as I can get rid of that freaking Mac, I'm getting rid of it. I hate Apple products. I'm never buying another one again. My fan is turning itself now. But yep, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. I'll be having for the radiator setup, since it'll be easier to show you here. It'll go from the whole case, so it'll go front reservoir, radiator, into another reservoir, down into the pump, which will go up into the GPU block, out of there, into another radiator, out of that one, into the CPU block, out of there. I might water cool my RAM just for shits and giggles. And then it'll go up into the top 400mm radiator, which the nozzles will be up here. I'll have a a uh, 60 degree angle barb on that, and then I'll have a straight down and then a 90 degree into the radiator uh, reservoir. I will be getting the new version of the uh, double helix bay, and it'll actually have an acetyl, a uh, black acetyl background, which will look very nice. It'll be the blood red instead of the fluorescent red, which does kind of look pink on my camera, which aggravates me. And it'll be the exact same kind of uh, the 250 millimeter radiator uh, reservoir on the inside, and I will be using almost all Phobia radiators, except for I will be using my Swift Tech when I do mount it after I drill custom mounts on the drive bays. I will still be keeping my 1TB black and my 90 gig Mushkin boot drive. That is for my boot drive. Sorry about the mess of cables. I've been running this fan and a 200mm 
Cooler Master fan down there. But yeah, I'll be moving to all Bit Phoenix fans. Um, so that's pretty much what I've got going for my setup as of now. I'll also be incorporating a custom drain loop. And I have a healthy 10 feet of tubing from Danger Den. So that is what I'm working on, guys. Uh, I hope you guys uh, look forward to this build. I am looking forward to it myself. If you guys want to follow, look up Led Zepp 3. L-E-D-Z-E-P-P-3 on overclock.net. You guys will pull up on my account. You guys can read through some of my build blogs and stuff like that. I'll put a link down below in the description. And I will see you guys later.